Hello, this is Gene Sutton again with Agnet. And I have here about a thousand polygons. And so out of these, I've picked four. And um, I've copied them and placed them in the temporary places so that I can um, do things with them. And I will turn off my other polygons so I don't change them at all. And so we're going to talk about uh, converting KML files to N01 files. Well, let's get started. So working these up to get them ready to spray. Here I have a project. I will do that first and then I will select the sequence. So to do a project, I'm going to come to temporary places, right click, and I'm going to add a folder. I'll name it um, BRJ, but the name really doesn't matter. Then next, I will right click on the project and add a polygon. I want to put a polygon in to just mark the uh, project so that I can tell where they are at. So that's going to be named uh, PRJ WPT. And I've named it WPT order because all the points will delete when I convert it because they have to be inside of a polygon to count. So I'll draw out a polygon, and that looks good. Then I have to take these two polygons and put them in a folder. Here's my folder, but the two polygons are up here. So if I come to the map, I can right-click and cut. It goes away. And I can right-click on the yellow polygon that I just drew and paste. So now it puts it back in the folder. Same thing here. Right click on the polygon cut and then right click on the yellow polygon and paste. Now the two spray areas are in the project folder and anything that's in a folder will be converted as a project. I want to determine a sequence. It's going to be uh, number one. I'll spray the little one first number two, and num then number three. So I will right click on the folder and add um, path. I will name this WPT order. A uh, couple of versions you may have to use all caps. This is the code to convert it into the sequence that you're spraying. I'll click here, number one, number two, and number three. That needs to be a little bit bigger. Make it six. And I can do a better color like here maybe. Great. So we have the uh, spray view knows the sequence. It knows that I picked this one and this number two and this number three. And the rule is that the points have to be inside of a polygon. If they're outside of the polygon, they'll be deleted. So if I put a point out here for number one, it would be deleted. Then it would start number two, number three, number four. So then I can say OK on that. And um, just so you know, this is a great time to add waypoints if you want to. So we can go to the folder and add a place marker. Here we have the place marker, and I will give this a name. I'm going to call it Joe's. And I will have to put the uh, WPT on it. That's the code to convert it to a waypoint. And that's it. 
I can drag this over here and uh, you can use this to make waypoints for heliports or approach points maybe Uncle Vinny in Detroit and we'll say okay okay this project folder I have everything in it that I want and I will close it up so I don't get confused and then I to convert these I have to save them to a folder so I'll right click save place as Here's the name, I would just leave it the same. And it goes into the workup folder so I can save it. Polygon number two, save place as, save. And then the project folder, I will save it. Save place as, save. So we're ready to do the conversion and spray view. Oh, we'll go ahead and do our conversion and see how all that looks. Go to the menu, import, batch convert. Here's the files that we have in the workup folder. We will convert it and boom. We've had the projects converted and the names change to represent the sequence order. So we'll close it. Let's take a look at it and see. Here's our one, two, three. We can open them up. And we have one, two, and the project is number three.